one of the things that was happening in the field of learning and memory at the time mm -hmm. is that people were working with very simple stimuli. They they would have people memorize a list of words and try to or learn a list of yeah. words and try to remember them after different periods of time. Every now and then, um, they'd use stimuli that maybe were a little different, but they were very simple, sometimes nonsense syllables. They were trying to have them be as simple as possible. And when I started my ex my experiments, I wanted them to more closely match the real world. So I started showing people films of ac auto accidents, <laughs> and those were my stimuli. And other p scientists were not doing work that, we're, that uh, way. So in, in, in that sense... That was a little different. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, but the par but, but the. Am so I correct that in that? By the way, in those experiments, you could get people to just to get, and maybe it's a a precursor to what would happen later. Was it in those experiments where you could get people to infer how fast someone was going by describing? an auto accident in different in different terms yeah well yeah or asking a question that uses a loaded word for yeah. how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other uh, versus how fast were the cars going when they hit each other and and we showed that people said th the cars were going faster with smash than hit so it was already an early indication that you could influence what what people thought by the way by by just giving them loaded words yes but my first thought was i was looking at leading questions and okay. i could see that the leading questions would affect the answer um then i showed that those leading questions could affect the answers to totally different questions that you put to a person often much later. So if I came back to you after I'd asked you the smash question mm -hmm. a week later and say, by the way, a few more questions for you. Uh, did you see any broken glass? People were twice as likely to say, yes, I saw broken glass. There wasn't any mm -hmm. if we had used the word smash nice. versus hit. So then I began to see these leading questions as just a vehicle for supplying suggestive information to people that would affect their memory. And, and that ultimately would lead to the label uh, of the misinformation effect. You, uh, you supply people with misinformation and they will often accept it, absorb it into their memory. It causes a contamination or a distortion of memory. I think I've heard that called the Loftus effect, actually, from other people. <laughs> well, I, I, I called it the misinformation effect. 